Hi guys, uh, this is chapter 21, website authoring. This is the last chapter of your book. Here, this is all about the introduction to uh, website authoring. What all stuff we are going to do here. We are going to have some introduction theory um, explanations. Knowing about what is a website, how to create it, what are the layers about and which softwares we are going to use and how to uh, save and execute it all about that and after that we have um, the scripts to use them in websites okay now let's start here first of all what is a website it is a collection of individual but related web pages that are often stored together and hosted by a web server. Web pages can include different objects such as text, hypertext, sound, videos, or any images like that. Yes, what is a web server? It is a server on the web. Website it is a collection of many web pages. A web page is a single page, like in a in a, a textbook, in a book, a page. One page is a web page in a website. So a web page is created using three layers and they got its own purpose to serve us. The first layer is contents layer, presentation layer, and behavior layer. The content layer got all the content that is seen on the web page when we open any website. So it could be text, images, or uh, videos, everything what you see on a web page, the content on the web page is in this layer. And this layer sometimes also called structure layer and how do we develop this content for a web page we have a language that's called html yes this is a language it's called scripting language html we create content with this what is html you know it's abbreviation right uh, hypertext markup language but what is that it is a text based language used to develop the content layer of websites yeah but how do we do that we use any uh, text editor to create the content for a web page we can use a text editor or any other softwares like web authoring packages like Adobe Dream Weaver we have, Microsoft Expression Web we have. I'll show you a few. Uh, this is just a simple text editor in our computer that's called Notepad. We can create a well sophisticated web pages using this. Yeah, just it's a just a text editor, but it can do a lot. And we have another one, this is called uh, Microsoft Front Page, this we have installed in our computer. It doesn't come with the uh, MS Word or MS Excel, but we have to install it separately. I got this one we can use, or we have another one as well as called uh, Microsoft Expression Web. This as well we, we use extensively uh, for creating web pages and very well advanced websites and Adobe Dream Weaver is there and that I don't have sorry let's move on so here how do we create a web page okay let's start with a simple web page there are three steps always first we write the script yes what content you want how you want to display with the paragraphs with the uh, images videos whatever you want to just collect as a content that's we put it in a form of a script that's called a writing a script then we have saved that script a notepad file with dot htm 
as a file extension and this we can open in any web server so these are the three steps we follow every time now what is presentation layer second layer it is presenting the look right so this layer is where the visual impact of the web page is created and contains the styles to be used such as color themes fonts uh, even images that has to be on every page that even we can insert in this uh, presentation layer and how do we develop this presentation layer we have one uh, style sheets we call them that is called CSS cascading style sheets using this we develop presentation layer what is CSS it is an abbreviation for cascading style sheet another text piece language styles are created and um, added to the pages yes so style sheets can be written that's nothing but embedding we call it into HTML but it is usually created in a separate file saved with an extension .css and then this style sheet is attached to our page that we're going to do in the past papers so many websites have one or more common style sheets attached to every page in the website this makes all the pages have a similar appearance with the same font styles and color themes such that yes and even we can develop the style sheets using text editor as well now the third and last uh, layer is called the behavior layer and this layer is where all actions such as controlling elements uh, leaving this one on the web page are created which are usual are usually created using scripting languages like Java script this is too much okay that we don't have now right now we are not learning about JavaScript yes we don't have this and uh, only we have HTML CSS pages they give already to us in the form of uh, web pages so we embed in html these all css files for editing in our past papers and even in coming uh, these pages in the lesson then how to create a web page here as you know either we have to take the uh, notepad or it could be front page or it could be any expression word then we have to create the script these three steps we have to follow every time yeah now uh, here this is the skeleton of any HTML script this is called skeleton even if you don't have any uh, high five scripting but these are the ones you have to have it without any one of it the web page won't be created or displayed you have doc type html that this automatically we have to type in on the top it, it says that we're gonna start uh, an html scripting uh, code there okay so see here there is html and there is end of html so these are called markup tags we call them markup tags a pair of markup tags having this uh angular brackets we call them less than and greater than symbols in between that if you place a word that will become a tag markup tag so there are so many tags which got a pair of tags which is the starting and the ending here ending is shown with a slash forward slash okay in between html and end of html the whole scripting has to be done and 
between these two uh, markup tags what you insert will be seen on the web page and then there is a head head tells is the header that's nothing but uh, the web page name between these two in the title is the web page name and between head and end of head here this one this is head and end of head between these two we insert the title of the web page which appears to be on the top like uh, if I show you of any any web web page here what you see there is a new tab can you see over there there is a new tab this is the title of the web page okay what I'm gonna type in over here uh, between title and end of title markup tags that appears on the top that is the web page name and this tag has to be inserted between two head markup tags and this head has to be there within HTML and then after that there is a body tag <coughs> so between these two body tags what you insert appears in the uh, appears in the area here this is the area where you have Google and that there is a search bar and other um, icons so this one here gmail images this is all area is where uh, content appears when we insert it in the body tag fine and there is a comment as well this is called a comment the way we insert comments here is a comment this won't appear in the web page but they are helpful to understand or explain the code in the HTML script yes they are called comments comments can be added to your markup if there are nodes that are wish uh, you wish to make but not display on the web page they are called comments so these are the the minimum tags that should be there in every uh, web page yes we're done we're gonna start in the next video task 21a